This is immense. This is incredible. Unforgettable. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with K-Monta's Art Studio and I have a fun project. So I haven't done one of these in quite some time. I was commissioned to do a paint along or like painting with a twist sort of thing, except for their one request was to make it different. So, <laughs> That was a huge request, but I was super excited about that. And because they were interested in some of the things that I did on Instagram, they did request one, one of the things to be watercolor, but watercolor is super challenging for beginner students. So I think, um, you know, figuring out different things with them. Hey guys, Editing Kim here. Sorry for the random cuts in that section. I had some corrupted video footage that unfortunately failed and I had to do my best to piecemeal this video together. So continue watching and I hope you like the project. I had so many dreams about this project. Um, so I was originally gonna buy spoons to go with the little pumpkin and have the people paint the spoon ends but they didn't have the spoons that I was looking for and a lot of the things were um, too expensive or didn't match exactly to what I had in mind so I ended up just going with the beads and seeing if these beads can be attached to the back so that they can hang these in a way or maybe on the top. We'll see. We'll see what looks best. That's if they want to. So I'm going to make that optional. And first I need to see if it works. Then another thing that I got from the basement. So I need to sand all of the interiors and prime them with the matte finish. So I have to actually prep those before tomorrow. And I have my staple gun to see if that works with the little bead thing. And oh, my satin varnish. I was reading the directions for the Mod Podge Food Safe um, sealer. I didn't realize how long it takes to cure. It, it was mentioning that it, it takes at least, which is probably why it wasn't working for me, um, it requires you to let the paint dry for at least two to three days. And this one does the same thing, but I know that it will work a little bit better than the food safe one. And also it takes 28 days to cure. So I can't do that with them. So I'm gonna just use this. And this goes so much farther than the other stuff. So that's always good. Then lastly, I'm going to be using the paint that they actually use, that I'm gonna have them actually use to see if that works. So the paint that I'm going to be using with them is the Master Touch Hobby Lobby brand liquid acrylic. I have faith that this should be good. I'm also wondering if I should test out the heavy body acrylics because I've been dying to get rid of those too. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay. All right. I'm going to set this up and then we'll get started. See you soon. Okay, we're on the floor. <sighs> Can't see me. This is the first time I'm painting 
in my new studio. So exciting. This is actually the first time I've painted it in weeks, weeks and weeks. So I think by the time this video comes out, my studio makeover should be released. And I hope you enjoyed it. Anywho, I am on the floor. Very first step is to sand the interior of this. So I've worked on wood like this before and some issues that I came across were the varnish that is already on here. I thought that matte medium would solve that solution, uh, solve that issue, but it did start to chip after a certain point. Thankfully, I used the Mod Podge sealer. I think um, this will help solve that. So if I sand it down, yeah, that's already. And then put the uh, matte medium, we should be good. Then I'm going to be using this liquid acrylic since it's what they'll be using. So I'll probably bring these two examples um, to show them and we'll get started. So I just wanted to mention the socks of the day. Our previous sock that I wore, I'm just wearing them so you guys don't see my ugly feet. So here are the socks of the day. Okay, so the intention for this painting, I don't know where it is, oh, it's up there, is to be a folk art style. So I think I want it to have some of my favorite flowers, definitely some of the curvier ones. I love when it has like the inners just gonna get warmed up here I could have it have some of the petals oh you can't even see the drawing <laughs> I'm just doodling along so I'm gonna keep doodling and show you what I come up with afterwards and then we'll jump into priming it I have a guest. Excuse me, mister. Okay, so I think I have a direction. I'm in, actually, I don't have a direction. I think what's gonna help me is just sketching it on here because just getting an I ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'll show you some of the Pinterest pictures so that one is cute the other one that I found interesting which is actually um, a pattern this one was pretty inspirational and I actually like the colors of this cactus Oh, you can't see that at all. Yeah, there it is. So I like those colors. And I think that's where I'm going to go the direction in. But let's prime this and see what flows out of me. Because I think I'm going to just flow. I've been so terrible at making reels these days. I think I lost motivation since Instagram ruined everything. So I haven't been creating reels. So let's see if I can get back into it and make this a reel. This reel will probably be released way before this video. Let's do a quick This is kind of thick.
creamy white. I love doing these type of things. They're so fun to me. Anything that allows me to teach is fun. Orange. Probably tone this orange down. It's a little bit bright. Yellow. I use some of this paint with my students and they use so much of it and I was like sitting there with my eyes wide open like you guys don't need that much paint what the heck yeah I think it was the blue the blue is like ha it's like right here they use the entire container to try to make a sky blue I'm like what is happening why did you use that much you see this is why you gotta pour it for them I think I'm gonna have a sketch. Tell me what you think. If you can even see that. I don't know if you can see it. down here on the floor okay <clears throat> so most of it is dry just a couple tacky spots I brought this down for inspiration so this is the initial 
inspiration and this is on the same type of wood so that's nice I think I did use I don't know what I used on this I actually was it heavy body I don't know but good news is that the paint the liquid acrylics feel exactly like the heavy body paint so that's pretty nice I think I might well I'm definitely gonna do a second coat and add a couple of details with the with the paint and then I'm gonna go in with my Posca's and let's get to it <laughs> hello from down under so I have finished painting and now it's time for Posca pens and I think we'll be done We're finished. We have officially worked on it for two hours and that is the stopping point for me. And it turned out pretty well. Look at how cute. The only thing I have to make time for is the sealer. Let it dry for a little bit and then add the sealer. There's a little bit of touch up actually that I can do right as we talk so I'm probably gonna bring this of course as an inspiration so they can see and I'll probably bring a couple of the other things that I've painted this way but I really love this style and this paint was pretty good this event was a huge success the students really enjoyed creating a customized trinket tray and I had a lot of fun facilitating this. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I really love painting on wood and if you would like to see more of this, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.